Hey everybody, Wes here from 7th Grade Girl Fight, coming to you with a pedal board tip. When it comes time to switch to a new pedal board, you're going to want to sell your old one or give it away to one of your bandmates even. Figure out which one's been eyeing your pedal board jealously and give it to them. But before you do that, you want to make sure it's all clean and pretty so that the next person can set it up the way they want to. To do that, you're gonna to have to take all the Velcro strips off of it. Excuse me, dual lock. Hook and loop, dual lock is a different thing. And actually, I'm switching to a new pedal board setup, so I may well be using dual lock for real, not Velcro. Anyway, Velcro, especially the industrial stuff, can be really difficult to get off. But here's a tip for you. Use a little heat. Just heat up the Velcro a little bit. Especially along the edges. What this does is it softens up the adhesive and makes it so that it comes off a little better. So you can see I've already done a couple of these tricks. and pulled a couple of them off and I'll go back and I'll hit that with some rubbing alcohol and a rag to get that off of there, to get that adhesive off of there. And then it'll be all ready for the next person. So now that this is warmed up a little bit, watch how easily it comes off. I'm gonna put it right on the corner there. And then you can just, it just peels right off. Ooh, the aluminum's a little hot too. See how easy that came off? Now normally that would have been scraping, grunting, crying, griping, complaining, but thanks to seventh grade girl fight, you now know the best way to get old Velcro off of your pedal board. Be sure to come out and check us out if you're anywhere near Charlottesville, Richmond, etc., or we may be coming to a town near you. Rock on, everybody.